The town of Grindavik has had a lucky escape, at least for now. Lava has come to a halt on the edge of the community. Just three houses have been consumed by molten rock or burned by the intense heat. It could have been so much worse. And while the eruption continues, it is already subsiding. There are two, perhaps three fire fountains still rising into the air today. You can see the, the black flow of lava that stretched down here and almost cut across the road. And just beyond there is the town of Grindavik itself. It is perilously close to people's homes. The defensive wall hastily built in recent days did its job. The main flow of lava was largely held back by the thin brown line of raised earth. But video given to Sky News shows construction vehicles were only just saved in time. From inside the cab, the red-hot rock is terrifyingly close. It was fairly warm, cold, warmer than today. Of course you are a little bit frightened. Uh, but we had two of our uh, crew members, our uh, experienced search and rescue team personnel, so they took uh, charge in controlling the situation. For the evacuated residents, the eruption has been a harrowing watch. Vili Ara has lived in Grindavik since he was born. He and his family now face an uncertain future. You feel powerless because your home is, that's, that's, that's what everything is. That's everything you own. It's our home, it's our house, it's our property. And there's basically nothing we can do. You're not allowed to go in there to save everything. The ground within Grindavik has shifted by up to one and a half metres as magma has moved beneath the surface. Cracks in the earth are opening without warning and the risk of a new eruption is rated as high. Thomas Moore, Sky News on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland.